Welcome to my YouTube channel where I simplify the web. In this video, I'll be simplifying fragments in React. What are fragment components in React and why do you need them when building React applications? I'll be explaining that in this video, so join me as we go to the code editor. Here is an example of a valid React syntax. We have the components that we are declaring and then when you're returning the JSX elements, you need to return one root element and then you can have as many children as you want. And this is what this translates to on the web. And when you check the source code of this here in the body tag, you have the div ID of root, which is coming from the index.html here. And then down you can see we have the div class of container and then we have the h1. Now this root element, which is this first element, it can have as many children as you want. You can also specify a h2 element. You can specify another div. You can specify as many things as you want in the body here to translate to div class of container and then it has the h1 and the h2 but in react if you try to have two root elements that's going to throw an error and what do i mean by root elements let's say i'm just going to take all of this off i have this and then here i'm going to specify another div with a class name of container2 and i close this div now this is going to throw an error because i have two root elements just after the return keyword i'm only supposed to have one root and then have as many children so you can see here in my editor it already says gsx expressions must have one parent element and also when you try to render this you're also going to get this error that says adjacent gsx element must be wrapped in an enclosing tag if you are wondering why this error exists you can check out the video that is currently on the screen or i would leave a link to that in the video description where I explain why GSX elements must have only one parent element. The solution to this is to provide a parent element. So let's say we provide a parent element like div and then we put these two divs inside. Now this is valid. React does not complain. But the problem with this is that this is going to add an extra div node to the DOM. So if you come here to the DOM, I'm going to check the body. You can see that after the ID of root, you have the div before you now have the div of container and the div of container too. In some cases, you might want this extra div in the DOM. Maybe you want to apply some styles or you want to do certain things with it. But in some other cases, you may not need this div. You only want to provide a parent element so that React does not complain. This is where you use React Fragments. So with React Fragments, I'm going to use it here, react.fragment. By using a React Fragment, you are able to provide that root parent element that you want to provide, but in the DOM, that is not going to add an extra DOM node. You can see immediately after the div ID of root, we immediately have div class container and div class container too, which is this and this. This React Fragment does not translate to any DOM node. So this way, you do not need to add any extra DOM node that you do not need. That's the purpose of React Fragments. Also, instead of writing it like this, the short version of React Fragments is just to have an empty tag like this. And this will be the same thing when I refresh. After the div ID of root, you can see we have the div class of container and the div class of container too. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and also subscribe for more simplified content like this.